Hey, Tommy C here from A Shot From The Point Productions. This is your Shot From The Point NHL or Hockey Update. The Thomas Vanek trade. Yes, it's the Thomas Vanek trade. Vanek heads to the New York Islanders who's a free agent at the end of the year. And for exchange of Matt Molson, Molson will head to the dreaded Buffalo Sabres. They're having a rotten season. Now, there's going to be a lot of talk on whether who won the trade, who got the best out of the deal. I honestly believe it's good for both teams, and here's why. Because of the Jason Commonville trade, and eventually the Ryan Miller trade, it seems to be that the Buffalo Sabres have given up. They're stacking up draft picks for the future, which I honestly believe is the right move. When they had a pretty good team on paper, they weren't able to perform, this is the right thing to do. This is not something you can do in New York City, but maybe in Buffalo, those fans will have the patience for them to rebuild the team. So, in that alone, I think it's actually very good for the Buffalo Sabres. Now, I don't think there's much of a chance that Matt Molson resigns with the Buffalo Sabres at the end of the year, but that's not what this trade's about. Like I said, it's about draft picks. For Thomas Vanek, he gets out of a dreaded situation and gets to play with a player that he never really got to play with before, a player of the likes of Jonathan Tavares. The Oilers took the Penguins real deep in their series last year, gave them everything they had. The Islanders are for real, and they're building something. And with Johnny Franchise there, there's nothing but good things. Vanek can only help improve that. Now, will Vanek re-sign with the Islanders at the end of the season? It's tough to tell, but it wouldn't be a terrible move. This is a team for the future. Now, they're not a, probably a Stanley Cup contender this year, but they very clearly will be a Stanley Cup contender in the future. Tonight, the New York Rangers play their first game at home after a ridiculously long road trip all over the United States and Canada. They will be playing in the newly renovated Madison Square Garden. Please check that out. God, I think it's the longest Ranger road trip in history if you don't count the times where they had to play all their playoff games in the 50s away because of the circuits in the Garden. So it's good to see the Rangers are back home. Let's give them the best. And well, they're my team. Who cares? I talk about your team, too. Also, stay tuned for the podcast. Coming out tonight, not on Tuesday at 10 p.m. Um, I'm not really sure if we're going to be doing a live broadcast or not. More than likely, it's going to be pre-recorded. I'm having a little trouble getting a host. Jake is battling a flood in his basement in a boiler or, or what have you, and it, nobody else seems to be available. I've done solo shows in the past. I think I can handle it. That is your Shot from the Point update. Have a good one. Deuces. Out. <laughs> Subscribe right now to the Wildest Hockey Podcast on the internet. We're having some scheduling problems this week, but the show will be tonight. You need your times. Check out Facebook and Google+.